Hey. We saw Pete's Dragon. We did. It was very good. It was great, which was a relief because I wasn't in the mood to see a movie tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I stink and I'm still in the same clothes I was wearing during the stream. <laughs> <laughs> my voice has been hurting most of the day and so is my ribcage. You didn't talk for 12 hours straight. Mm -hmm. I said you did basically talk for 12 hours straight. I thought you, I'm sorry, I thought you said, uh, I'm a little slow today, so I thought you said, you didn't talk for 12 hours straight. I was like, I sort of did. <laughs> no, but I did, I did the exact opposite of that. I did talk for 12 hours straight. Remember that live stream I did? You were there. I swear you were there. <laughs> I swear we didn't start when you guys showed up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> so, I've been tired most of the day, and I had to watch something for the snob earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, I we only got the trailer for this, like, maybe a couple of times, yeah. I think, at the most. And from the trailer, I was like, I remember thinking, like, yeah, that looks like it'll probably be fine, but it might turn into, like, a Jungle Book situation or something. Where it's just straight up terrible. <laughs> yeah, where it's like, uh, where I, I'm disappointed in that. Um, no, this, uh, as exhausted and tired as I am today, uh, I'm actually really glad we came out to see this, because this was a really fucking great movie. Yeah, it, it reminded me a lot of, like, the old old Disney movies, like your, um... Like your Escape to Witch Mountains. Did you ever see the original mm -mm. Pete's Dragon? I, I did when I was a little kid. Was it a straight cartoon or was it like a bed knobs and broomsticks? The dragon was a cartoon. Uh -huh. um, from what I remember about the original, which honestly, to tell you the truth, isn't that much. But what I do remember about it, uh, I actually like this one better. Uh -huh. <laughs> um I, I, again, I do, it, it's been 25, 30 years since I've seen the original movie. Uh, but, it, no, like, uh, this movie was... Damn, I was... Throughout most of the movie, I'm just... <laughs> just rooting for this kid to escape back into the woods. <laughs> right? Well, because, like, I, I, I compare it to Escape to Witch Mountain because yeah. it's very much, like, the sort of very sincere... Yeah. Someone knows there's magic stuff, and someone else is like, I don't think there's magic stuff. And he's like, I'll show you. And they're like, oh my god, there's magic stuff. I will help you escape to or from the magic stuff. The children are always the first to know. Yes. And someone who's really into hunting is the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it had one of those, like, me, 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 me type villains. Like, they, they gave him some, um... They give they made him more sympathetic towards the end, which I like. But yeah. for the most of the movie, he's like, "It's my goddamn dragon! You tell that man that's my dragon, I'll and get, it's my dragon." I'll get to that here in a second because that deserves its own thing. <laughs> um, but the, yeah, the plot of the movie is this kid is driving with his parents. They get into a car accident. The kid goes off in the woods. And lives with a dragon for about six years. He almost gets killed, like, he gets surrounded by wolves, but they uh -huh. don't try to raise him, they just kind of want to eat him. But then yeah. the dragon shows up and saves him. And he, like, they have this weird thing where whenever he, touch, when he touches the dragon, the mm -hmm. dragon changes to a different color of green. Yeah. And I wasn't really following what that was supposed to signify, but it was, mm -hmm. it was pretty. Um, yeah. And then, like, cut to six years later, he's, like, running through the woods, yeah. you know, Mowgli. And then... And the special effects are really good. Mm -hmm. Like, the dragon effects are amazing, but I I also love the fact that we're also seeing real animals in this movie, too. Uh-huh. In which a movie like Tarzan literally had none. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was yeah, really... he, like, snares a rabbit at one point. Yeah. He scares a bear. Ha, <laughs> stupid bear. The bear actually went, oh, no. <laughs> it could have been worse. Lou Ferrigno could have taken that bear and thrown him into space. <laughs> Instead, growl at bear, bears off. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> That's the end of that bear. But yeah, it was a really sweet relationship between Pete and the dragon. And the dragon was cool looking and had kind of a people-y face, but mm. not so much of a people-y face that it creeped me out. Yeah, not so much to where, like... Not like a blue people-y face. R right. Or, or, yeah, like uh, Christopher Walken in Jungle Book. Yeah. <laughs> this is more like, because, you know, the cartoon, I, I didn't actually, I don't recall ever having seen the movie, but I've mm -hmm. seen, like, 
bits of it. That scene that everyone's seen when they show like clips of it and the mm -hmm. dragons dancing in the forest and yeah. shit. Yeah. And I seem to recall the cartoon dragon has kind of a people -y face just mm -hmm. because of the cartoon style at the time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they were more trying to emulate that than trying to make him look like Did whoever you... was making the faces that they were basing the computer animation on. And I didn't know... I... I don't know because, like, like I said, I I'm I'm only kind of remembering bits and pieces of the original, so I I didn't know if maybe some of the songs in this movie were maybe from the original, uh, I, like they did with Jungle Book. Uh -huh. uh, that I I couldn't tell you about this movie, but the kid is eventually found in the woods by Bryce Dallas Howard, and is brought back into the town. And throughout this, I'm just so rooting for this kid to escape <laughs> and just go back. Like, he's fine. He's living in the woods with his pet dragon. I, was, I, I cried like three times in this movie. The first time was when, like, he woke up in the hospital and he's mm -hmm. trying to escape because, like, all these girls are chasing him and he's yeah. just trying to get back home. Mm -hmm. And he just starts howling. And was, no, he but, just wants to go home, you bastards. Oh, yeah. There is, there is really good stunt work in this movie, too. Mm -hmm. Like, he's... When he's escaping this town, he's leaping over shit. He's like climbing on a school bus, hopping from car to car. Mm -hmm. It's a good chase sequence. And uh, yeah, this, I mean, this, this movie is Disney to a T. And it's really, really great Disney too. And that like, you'll cry about every five minutes in this film. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't like sitting there watching like Tomorrowland where you're like, stop trying to manipulate my ass. I'm not buying this. <laughs> this is more just like a really good acting little kid. That kid was great. grew up with a dragon and mm -hmm. wanted to go home to his goddamn dragon. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to go home to his fucking dragon. <laughs> Let him get home to his dragon. But oh no. Oh, Bryce Dills Hours decided that she's his new mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's going into the system at the end of this film. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you can't just tell social services, no, I think I want to keep this one. You can in these movies. <laughs> and I'm I'm alright with that. It's like I think that happened in Matilda too. <laughs> Sorry I'm squirming, there's mosquitoes in the foot space of the car. Oh. <laughs> it's because <laughs> the windows <laughs> are open. <laughs> um Right, I was wondering why I get so eaten up. That's all right. I went to the movies, um, and so the villain is Carl Urban. Mm -hmm. Now, which I was surprised by because there's like there's two brothers. There's yeah. the bad guy brother and the good guy brother, mm -hmm. and the, it felt very miscast like because Wes Bentley is the good one. Yeah, like they accidentally s switched them yeah. when they did the casting call, and then they're like, "Well, mm -hmm. we'll just go with it. We don't want to hurt, hurt their feelings." Exactly. Like, look, they're already really into these parts. <laughs> I don't have the heart. Do you want to tell Carl? I'm but no, nope. like so, yeah. It's like movie. You're, I, and I, I fucking love this movie. I highly recommend it. But movie, you're asking a lot of me to root against Carl Urban. <laughs> He's so pretty. Like Carl Urban is the man. Yes. That's like asking me to root against John Hamm. There's just some <laughs> things it's very hard for me to do. Meanwhile. And I like Wes Bentley, but I'm used to seeing Wes Bentley be evil and everything. He's, why, he's got diabolical yeah. eyebrows and a gigantic bushy beard. How why, is he supposed to be the good guy? Exactly. I mean, admittedly, it's like, well, it's refreshing to see him not be <laughs> evil in, in a movie, but not at the expense of me having to root against Carl Urban. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's like, make Wes Bentley the bad guy. Mm. I'm used to that. This movie's really shaking up what I know in this world. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you're right, like, Carl Urban is kind of humanized by the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. Like, he actually does a couple heroic things. Well, because they're, they're brothers, right? The, the the beardy one is dating Bryce Dallas Howard, and Carl Urban is kind of like the sassy younger brother with a... He's kind of a loose cannon in the forestry in, industry. I would say Carl... Ur I thought Carl Urban was, like, the older brother. Really? I thought he was supposed to be the younger, because he's kind of like a hot, hot-headed hotshot. Uh, I mean... I think Carl Urban is, maybe they're around the same age, but part of why I wondered if Wes Bentley was the fiancé was because I thought maybe he was closer in age to Bryce Dallas Howard. Then again, when does that make a difference in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, like... <laughs> yeah, like they, there was, they could be like 20 years apart. There was, uh, yeah, honestly, there was a time when you'd go see this movie and, like, Robert Redford would be her fiancé. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> He's still handsome. He is still super handsome. And I would, like, when he showed up, I was like, ha! Ah. <laughs> um, oh, electric horseman. <laughs> but whichever, they're, like, they're brothers, right? And so uh. the um, the beardy brother gets in trouble at the end. Yeah. And um, Carl Urban, who's in the middle of his 
like, ah, it's my dragon. That is Rampage. my dragon! Like, drops everything, Jack! And, like, uh -huh. runs over to save his brother. It's like, oh, yeah. you know, he's not a monster. He's just yeah. a Disney villain. Uh, yeah, and he was, uh... That moment right there does make him more humanized than most Disney villains. Like, because... <laughs> Gaston wouldn't have saved his brother. No, Lord, no. Like, that, that dragon would have dropped Gaston <laughs> off of that fucking tower. So, like... Because before then, really, Carl Urban is just... He really is that cartoony villain where uh -huh. he just... Once that dragon, he doesn't know why he caused... wants it. He just knows that step one dragon, uh, step three prophet. Yeah, <laughs> that is my dragon. You that's... tell him that's uh, my dragon. Mm, you tell him that dragon is mine. My brother can have the mill. The dragon is mine. I mean, uh, put me on the map. Uh, I, 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 that's the guy who watches the '70s King Kong movie and roots for Charles Grodin. <laughs> 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 okay, again, it's hard to root against Charles Grodin. It, exactly. It's very hard to root against Charles Grodin. <laughs> although <laughs> although Carl Urban made out of, made it out of this one easier than Charles Grodin in that movie. That that monkey stepped on Charles Grodin at the end of that film. Boom. The end. <laughs> oh, but like yeah, when uh the dragon flies off with the kid at the end, I'm like, all right, like, well, it end happy. Mm -hmm. Credits. <laughs> Dragon flies off with the kid. They go live into the woods. Mm -hmm. And then... He but, becomes a weirdo recluse. Mm, he becomes the Unabomber. Mm -hmm. It keeps going from there. It's clearly the most heartwarming scene since they had to say goodbye to Trumpy at the end of Pod People. <laughs> the dragon can do magic things. <laughs> he can. He can turn invisible. <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, like, that was probably, like, the 20th time I almost cried in this movie. <laughs> Just hold it back, man. Hold it back. He went on over like, Bleh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but no, at the end, not only does the kid get a, not only does the kid get his family, but, uh, the dragon has a family of dragons, yeah, too. Yeah, like, I was waiting this whole freaking movie, because the, like, the, the beginning, the dragon's, like, wistfully looking off at the star, I'm like, oh, I bet that's where the rest of the dragons are, mm -hmm. and the boy gets a compass, and he learns what north is, I'm like, yes, north, where the other dragons are, mm -hmm. and then he hears the song that's all yeah. like, take two steps to the west, then you go north, go to where the river has three forks, that's where all the dragons are, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's what an interesting song anyway back to my problems <laughs> <laughs> but they finally find the other dragons at the end and i thought that was very sweet if i just showed that five seconds of you singing that and then <laughs> someone would see it out of context and be like was that a musical review <laughs> like, <laughs> i'm gonna start doing those from now on. <laughs> i can't keep up i can't ad lib like that it's just a jump to the left <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm way better at reciting shock treatment i'm that guy <laughs> <laughs> I've seen shock treatment, but all I can remember is bitch in the kitchen and ooh shock treatment. You're dancing like a real live wire. Apparently. <laughs> I love oh, the Denton song. Denton, Denton. Ah, I love that fucking movie. <laughs> I watch that movie every year. <laughs> um, I highly recommend this movie. I, do I totally too. recommend it. It's uh, in terms of family movies that are out there. It's top. It's, 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 it's between this and Nine Lives. As long as your children are to a point where you they're going to be okay with the parents dying five minutes into this movie. Well, that happens in every Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. So yeah, just as long as you're, you're to that point, I think it'll yeah, be fine. I mean, it's not like it's the opening of Silent Night, Deadly Night, and the kid's in the back of the car and evil Santa slashes the parent's throat. <laughs> and then the kid goes in the woods and meets a dragon. <laughs> And I mean, like, it, it, as far as, like, kids' movies where they're friends and then one of the friends gets kidnapped and the other friend gets kidnapped, it's not, like, heartbreaking, like, like say, like, E.T. Okay, like, E.T., yeah. where he gets kidnapped and he takes him in the back and he's all white and scary looking mm -hmm. and obviously dying and it's mm -hmm. hard for a kid if you're sensitive. Mm. 
<laughs> this is more like played for laughs, like the dragon's it's getting still chased pretty... by hunters, but you're not actually afraid that the dragon's gonna get shot because it's like it's zany well, and like they keep falling over and the dragon gra grabs the gun and goes crump. It does that in E.T. too, when they're escaping the government and everything and it's silly and it's they're so flying scary. and it's the kid's like, tell died. me when it's over! Yeah, it doesn't get that dark. It doesn't get like, you know, the suddenly the dragon's near skeletal. Like, <laughs> That doesn't happen, but it is pretty, like, you are you're sitting there genuinely concerned for this dragon, like, I hope this dragon doesn't die at the end of this film. Because <laughs> they do capture him, they do yeah, have him chained up. Yeah, but the guy that captures him is an idiot. It's fucking Carl Urban, he's like, yeah, I got that dragon. Yeah, again, and Robert are... Redford's like, okay, so now what? He's like, I have no idea. I've seen enough Carl Urban movies to know he could probably kill a dragon. <laughs> Even if he's like kind of a dumb guy in this, uh -huh. all he has to say is no dragon, I am the law. <laughs> and shoot a I flare gun law. at him. <laughs> <laughs> but he does snap into hero Carl Urban mode. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, it is still Carl Urban. And then it feels the magic. Plus the dragon turns out can breathe fire. That was great. That was fantastic. Yeah, and the dragon was straight up going to murder those people, too. <laughs> like, I would, too. It's like, the <laughs> fuck away from me. <laughs> fuck all you people. I don't care if you're bones. <laughs> it's a fuck. I cared that he was bones. I do, too. I, even, like, Carl Urban movies I hate. Mm -hmm. Like, The Loft. Uh -huh. I'm like, I can't... Fucking The Loft. Like, I can't root against Carl Urban. <laughs> like, he's a sleazebag in this movie, but... <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job of saving me, Brad. <laughs> well, we're friends now. I have a moth. Sarah's moth. Is Sarah's be moth. <laughs> it's just going to be me trying to murder a moth I, for an hour and a half. I got lost in the woods and hung out with a moth. He's my friend. <laughs> me and him built a tree house. He brought me mushrooms to eat. It is a funny movie, too. Like, when the dragons flying through the town and it's at night and random people looking up and seeing the dragon like those like paramedics who are wheeling that guy in the hospital and then they drop him <laughs> <laughs> that guy's dead <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's fine. no one seems to get seriously injured in this movie um well the parents at the beginning well yeah <laughs> but we don't actually see them maybe they maybe they ran off into the woods and also met dragons and then they, the sequels they, is gonna be about them like pete's parents dragons no 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 they uh <laughs> pete met a dragon the parents went off in the woods and met daniel radcliffe's farting corpse <laughs> like, that's their movie it's a much weirder movie <laughs> i'd watch it <laughs> that movie was all right this movie's better not nearly enough farting in this movie. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. It'll make you cry if you're yeah. a softy. I do. I totally recommend this movie. Uh, we got trailers. Yeah, you texted them to me because I was eating my delicious snuck in Taco Bell. I did. I knew I'd be using the phone as a light, so I went ahead and just took a screenshot of That's the... using the noodle. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got Kubo and the Two Strings. Mm, yeah, that comes out this weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. And there's like, I think, five other things that come out. I, maybe that one will get seen. I don't know. I mean, it, I really I'd like to see it. it I'd like pretty. to see it. It looks really good. What other movies come out this weekend? Like, I think War Dogs does. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems like there's a couple other things. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. uh, Monster Trucks, which I am less enthused about seeing. That's a January release. That, that, yeah, don't worry about that. That just screams movie that Allison and I will be at. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you kids have fun with that. Duh. Uh, Sing. Oh God. Which is like it's we're like animals are gonna put on a show. Like, yeah, it looks like, I mean, Grant, it, it's the same company that made, like, Secret Life of Pets, and those trailers annoyed me, and I like that movie all right. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be all right, but this movie like looks like... me. Yeah, I mean, this movie, though, looks... One of the things I hate the most in a lot of animated movies, because they, they do it, like, 98% of the time, is that obligatory scene where, at the end, everyone's just dancing for no reason. This looks like an entire movie of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's... Well, it's they're, they're putting on a show. And I, I don't know, I think it looks good. I, you know, it'll probably be alright. Like, no, I like uh, a musical, and it's, it looks like basically a musical. Like, I'll put even, up with a musical breaking into song 20 times. Even with it being a musical, when they're doing, like, the auditions and stuff, there's mm -hmm. a couple people that are auditioning, 
like, you know, a snail and like an alligator and whatever that are auditioning and they're like perfectly fine. But then it gets to our lead character who's auto tuned as shit. And the person auditioning them is, yeah, fuck off. So go be guy the snail who's singing Ride Like the Wind. It's a better song. <laughs> um, Miss Peregrine School for Peculiar Children. Yeah, it's the same trailer we've yeah, gotten a few times. Looks we're good. We're going to go see it eventually. <laughs> yeah, the, whenever it comes out. Really pretty cover of uh, New World Coming that plays during that trailer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, this was a trailer that, in case it was hard for you to follow this trailer, J.K. Rowling herself showed up to tell you exactly what was happening in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's a subplot that I wasn't aware of from the other 20 trailers that I've seen. Um... Where the the magic users in America can't fraternize with or marry the no no mages, mm. so that's interesting. I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, me too. It's got Colin Farrell in it, and uh, Eddie Redmayne's being quirky. I can't help. No, this thing. Um, <laughs> I destroy life. <laughs> I'm getting my quotes all backwards. Away. I create life, and I can destroy it. Oh, amazing. <laughs> uh, Moana. Which is oh. probably going to be better than that trailer looks. Uh, yeah. That trailer was just... It's Dwayne Johnson animated doing the eyebrow. And there's some Lilo and Stitch stuff going on. Only Stitch is a pig. <laughs> Only Stitch is a pig. <laughs> it's a teaser trailer. There's barely anything to that. Yeah. It'll probably be fine. And then Queen of Catway, which oh. is the first time I've seen that trailer. That that trailer made me cry, and that doesn't happen often. But yeah. I think that's mostly because she was just trying so hard to play chess. Yeah, the man was bringing her down. Yeah, that trailer didn't make me cry because chess kind of bores me. Oh, so I like chess. I, I really was, like chess. I was mostly like. How do you feel about Chess the Musical? I've never seen Chess the Musical. <laughs> Have you heard the song Night in Bangkok? Oh, that, yeah, I love that fucking song. <laughs> that is from Chess the Musical. Well, if they play One Night in Bangkok in this movie, I'll go see it. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's about, because it's, it, he's spending a night in Bangkok at like a chess convention. Mm -hmm. Chess convention. Like a chess competition. And talking about how you don't get to see any of the cool Bangkok stuff because mm -hmm. you're too busy. You head over oh. to pieces, man. If you put in a rock and 80s soundtrack, <laughs> then I'll like anything, <laughs> even chess. <laughs> well, you know, maybe they'll play that song during this during this movie, but I, th I think it looks good. Uh, it looked like one where I'm not sure if that's going to come to Springfield. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, <laughs> maybe. Springfield doesn't tend to care about chess, or... It looked well. I mean, it looked. It was, look, Springfield doesn't show movies of black people. In it. <laughs> Springfield doesn't care about black people. <laughs> no, it looked like. Uh, I, I could be totally wrong, but it looked like the kind of movie that maybe will start out with a limited release. <laughs> uh -huh. um, again, I, I could be wrong, but uh, maybe if Parkway will stop showing Hillary's America by Dinesh D'Souza, they'll have time for something else. <laughs> oh, Dinesh. Mm. <laughs> was that it? That's it. Yeah. That was all seven of the trailers. <laughs> I think we're going to try to see uh, Florence Foster Jenkins sometime this week. That should be fun. Yeah. I'm a mark for Hugh Grant stuff, so... <laughs> and tomorrow, assuming it doesn't pour down rain all day, we're going to go to the state fair and try some food. Hell yeah. Annual state fair video. <laughs> Wee. Uh, right on. I'm gonna go home and sleep some more. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and put some cordon on cream on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Bye. See ya.